Morning everyone. This is uh, Matt from Creative Ways Photography and also Luminous Light, which me and John Thomas from JT Photographics uh, do together or run together. Um, today I'm doing a um, review on some um, new filters that I've got. The Niwa um, ND filter set that I've got and I'm down on location at uh, a beach that I love down the south coast. We've got the sun here today. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a review um, and let you guys know how these filters work or what I, how I think they work out in the field. Um, we'll go through build quality, glass, whether they're glass or plastic, um, what the coatings are like, whether there's any colour cast or not. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. There's a little bit of surf today, which is what I was hoping for, um, to test these out. So stay tuned and um, we'll see what we can come up with. Um, we'll speak soon. Thanks guys. Down at the beautiful Encounter Bay, uh, or what we call Petrol Cove. Um, I'm gonna test and do, and I just got drenched. Um, I'm gonna do a review on these uh, newer um, filters that I bought. Um, so I'm gonna put them on my uh, Canon 1DX Mark II. Uh, using a 16 to 35 mil uh, f4 lens, and um, I'm gonna uh, do a bit of a chat, have a bit of a chat to you guys about uh, what I think of these filters. So stand by. Thanks, guys. All right, back again, guys. Um, so I didn't do any videos out when I was shooting because the water was a little bit, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, when the, when the waves come in, it was a little bit hectic on the rocks there, pretty slippery. So I've done my shots, um, and I'm just gonna have a chat um, regarding the newer uh, filter uh, set that I got, the ND864 uh, and the ND1000. So the build quality of them, um, in my opinion, um, I'm running the I'm running here. I'm running the ND64 because I am shooting in the middle of the day with my Hoyer um, polarizing filter. Um, I'll know more when I get home and I edit, but the color cast, there's no color cast visible through the camera from what I can see. It'll be interesting to see if there's any um, post shoot when I'm editing. Um, so yeah, so, so that part of it will know more once I get home and edit these photos. Um, if I just take this polarizer off, so I can have a look at this filter. So the let's get it in focus. The um, the little grooves in it are really really good um, for you to hold with your fingers to be able to turn it. Um, the thread is really really good. Um, some of my other filters that I've got, um, the thread is quite tight to turn on to the end of my Canon 16 to 35 F4. These are really smooth, really, really smooth. I uh, really like that about them. Um, metal or aluminium edged, um, hard to tell because it's coated in black. Um, they do have, I'm not sure if you can see it, they do have a uh, multi-layer coating on them, um, which um, I got some water on it when I first got out there and it seemed to wipe straight off, um, which is a good thing. Um, some of my other filters, um, some of the cheaper ones that I've bought, um, and these aren't overly expensive, mind you, but some of the cheaper ones that I've bought, um, if you get any water on them, they do leave spotting, um, which can lead to um, like some dramas for you so but this one these ones seem to be quite good i mean i've cleaned that and it, it looks as if it's never it's never um 
had drops of water on it before, so that, that part of it is really good. Um, I got these in a set, just bear with me. I'll just put this one away. Um, and they come in this pouch, so we've got the first, second, third and the fourth in there. The pouch is really good build quality of the pouch is really nice the zips are really good it's got a belt strap which is really handy um, some other filters that I use and have used um, they do come in pouches but there's no there's no way of attaching them to your belt um, so these have got a like a, a little um, a little eyelet there that you can hook onto and uh, they've also got a belt belt strap as well which is very handy um, so yeah uh, newer guys um, I use a lot of their lighting, um, JT from um, Luminous Light and also Photo Moto and um, JT Photographics. Uh, he uses a lot of their lights, their light wands, their LED stuff. Really, really, really good. Um, I highly recommend, especially if you're in the light painting industry, uh, which uh, JT is with his Photo, uh, photo Moto um, business that he's just set up really good quality stuff and not overly expensive um, so I highly recommend um, their stuff I will edit these photos when I get home um, or later on this evening and we'll see what the results uh, come out come out like um, like I said I do use um, a polarized a polarizer whenever I am shooting at the beach especially today with the Sun it's quite blurry um, the good thing about um, the, the Niwa um, ND filters with an ND64, uh, an ND8 and an ND10, um, I can shoot in the middle of the day and I can get down to, depending on, on your ISO settings, I can get down to or anywhere down to 30th of a second in the middle of the day. Um, so uh, that, that's really good if you... If you are a little bit time poor, you're on holidays, something like that, um, and you want to shoot your scene where you are, when you are, um, we can't all pick the perfect time of day with the perfect lighting conditions, etc. Um, like today, not a cloud in the sky, a little bit of cloud over there, it's moved on, um, and I'm still getting some really lovely images um, using using the Niwa um, and the filter set. So. Um, yeah, if you haven't if you haven't heard of them, guys, um, they're on the socials. Uh, obviously, go to their website um, and yeah, give uh, give the Niwa um, lights and also their filters and the range of uh, products that they do a go. Thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate it. I'll put I'll post a finished uh, edited photo um, at the end of this video. Thanks, guys. Um, and just a little plug, if you haven't already. Um, can you uh, head over to our uh, YouTube video uh, page, uh, Luminous Light. Um, my businesses are uh, Creative Ways uh, Photography, so creativeways.com.au, osportphotos.com. Uh, John Thomas is JT Photographics. Uh, he works in conjunction with me with Luminous Light, and he also has a new uh, business, um, which if you haven't followed, get on and follow him with his light painting uh, automotive photography, uh, which is Photo Moto. Thanks for listening, guys. And go, um, go uh, Miwa. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, guys. All right, back again, guys. Um